my name is Renee Clary. Did you know that 2016 marks the 100th year anniversary of our United States National Park Service? Well, some of the national park sites are a little bit older. For example, Yellowstone National Park, which was founded in 1872, may not only be our first United States National Park, but the first protected national site in the entire world. However, it wasn't until August 25, 1916, that the United States Congress founded the National Park System to manage all of the protected sites in our country. In 1916, there were 35 sites when the National Park Service was founded, and today there are 410. In this article, I describe ways that you can use our National Park Centennial while incorporating the art of the National Parks in your science classroom. Two approaches are described. In the first approach, we use the National Park sites, which are established because of their unique biology, geology, or cultural heritage, and we ask students that these sites serve as inspiration for writing and sketching activities in the classroom. The second approach involves finding an artistic product from a National Park site. This can be in the form of a painting, a photograph, a short story, or a poem. Then we ask students to analyze the artistic work and find the science behind it. This is sort of a reverse engineering process. Our National Park Centennial provides a great opportunity to include art within our science curriculum, and I hope you will be able to use some of the activities that are described in this article. If you do, please let me know. My email address is found at the end of the article. Thank you so much for reading about the arts from our National Park System and how we can incorporate those in our science classroom.